want you all to think. Think real hard. Life itself is a choice. Life is a decision. What decisions will you make in this life? Will you be positive or will you be negative? Think. Think about how you're going to be viewed. When I'm finished doing what I'm doing, everybody's going to know that I started out to do this in the right manner. I started out on the good side of the fence. I started out positive. I started out with a goal to achieve. I started out with everyone else's thoughts in mind other than my own. I started out with an opportunity to try to make people see things differently. But people are blinded by bullshit, stress, and drama. All you get is drama on this YouTube. All you get is nigger. All you get is I don't like her or this is not the kind of guy for me. All you get is trivial, childish nonsense that has nothing to do with the way that we're supposed to treat each other. Can you see me? Can you understand me? Some people can't understand me when I try to speak so simple that to where a child could understand. I speak so simple with so few words so more people can understand the little bitty amount of knowledge in which I have. I am not a scientist. I am not a uh, minister. I am not anything but a human being. I am someone made of flesh and bones and feeling and gut. I'm just you. I am you. You may not look like me, you may not think like me, but you are no different, no better than me. We're the same in so many ways, but different in so many different reasons that we don't even understand why we even have differences. There's one thing I do know, and it's this. Every time people try to understand each other the situation caves in there's chaos there's destruction there's mayhem there's people trying to kill for the knowledge of truth not to be known there's people trying to destroy us all right now as we battle each other for what a piece of turf a little bitty piece of turf Well, it's funny. You're not my enemy, and I don't owe you nothing. Why do you hate me? What For what reason do you dislike me? If you cannot explain why you don't like me, then you don't know if you like me or not. If you can quickly look at me and see that I'm not the kind of person that you want to be friend, you need to ask yourself, why can't this person be my friend? Why come this man can't be my friend? And then you'll think, through the course of your life, throughout history, maybe, just maybe, you learned how to hate me. Someone showed you how to hate me. Someone taught you how to hate me. Just maybe, someone showed me how to hate you. Someone taught me how to hate you. Someone showed me why I should not like you. And that same group of people who showed me why you don't like me and showed me why I don't like you have put us together to hate each other for one reason. One reason only, that they want you to dislike me and me to dislike you. That's so they can control us both. Why should I worry about this guy when I can make that guy do my bidding? Why should I worry about that guy 
when I can let this guy do my bidding? Why should I worry about any of them when I can make them self-destruct and implode within themselves? What would I be? What would I be? I would be one of the greatest masterminds on the entire planet. I would be bigger than life, bigger than your life bigger than anyone's life. I would be able to control and manipulate people as if I was a puppet master. And I can have my puppets do everything. And then I can have them kill each other when I didn't want them to do anything. I could be your God. Yes. Because you believe that your God wants you to fight these people. Your God says fight for this. Your God says fight for that. What did your God say in the beginning? said he created everything everyone in his image everyone is made in the image of God some say there is no God just a bunch of guys manipulating the truth that we're all just here we created from here we spawn from him. Is it some mind control? This entity called God? This image that we all pray to but no one ever sees? This feeling of belonging? The feeling of purpose? The feeling of there's going to be someone there to rescue us in the end? This being that we pray to for forgiveness when we're done bad this good and evil fight that we've been taught to follow and watch this life that they call a so proper call a humanity what is real what is fake who is real who is fake who are you who am I? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Self-motivation is what we need. We need to say things positive about each other to get over the hump that we cannot climb over when we climb by ourselves. We need to befriend those who we know are our enemies so they know when it's time to jump, they jump when we jump and not jump on us. It's time to teach people what we know and not teach them what they see. It's time that we become one nation just one nation just one nation can you see me now because now I can see I can see.